tempted to take a step out Get some in now, cut your edge out To some ice, but you'll be heavy in my mind Can you get the heck out? I need rest now, drop me one though You so, you so, you Baby, baby, baby I was on my empty mind, shit I should've came from the ocean, the best It is day one in LA. Well, this is technically day two in LA because yesterday was my first day. It was a travel day, but this is like my first official day. So as you guys can see by the title, I am here shooting my podcast, Set Up For Success, and I have a super special guest, Meta World Peace, coming. So I am taking you guys behind the scenes of my solo trip in LA. Look at the view. It's so amazing. So today has been like a really chill day for me. I've just been kind of like you know, testing out my glam, just getting accustomed to LA and seeing around. I actually went, as you guys saw earlier, I went to lunch at the Ethiopian restaurant. It was so, so good. I was so hungry. I didn't eat breakfast or anything or anything. So that was my first meal of the day. And now I'm gonna go to, well, in a few minutes, I'm gonna go to the Marathon rooftop. Um, if you guys don't know, I'm a super huge Nipsey Hussle fan. So I'm gonna be going to the Marathon rooftop just to shop. You have to schedule an appointment. So I scheduled an appointment because it's like a private shopping thing. So I'll take you guys with me when I go to the Marathon store. I'm super excited about that to pick up some pieces. And yeah, the rest of the day is just gonna be chill. I'm gonna be planning out the podcast and then talking to you guys a little bit more later about what I'm doing. Yeah, so the rest of the day is gonna be chill. Um, I'm actually gonna charge this camera because this camera dies really, really fast. So I'm gonna charge the camera and then like about in like an hour, we're gonna go to the marathon store. We have it scheduled, well I have it scheduled for 4.30. Let me see what time it is. Right now it's 3.21. So I'm actually, my hotel, I'm staying in the Godfrey and the Godfrey is like Hollywood Boulevard area. So I'm really really close. I'm only six minutes away So I'll probably leave around like 420 to get to the marathon store. So I got a lot of time So I'm just gonna chill. I'm on FaceTime with my best friend So I'm probably gonna finish talking to him and then I will see you guys whenever we get to the marathon store We'll get you upstairs. You can shop up here. We'll get everything you need. And then if you want to experience it downstairs, I'm, I'm telling you, Brody probably, probably going to be like, you go down there if you want. <laughs> we ain't going to get nobody out. <laughs> no, that's super smart. Because everybody, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Everybody important, you know? I'm 
millennium A better way to make a way It's not defending them I meditate and moderate All of my wins again I'm hanging on the fence again I'm always on your mind I put my lyric and my lifeline on the line And then no limit when I might shine Might grind You rolling with it at the right time Right now Only for the dollar sign Hey girl, we now I'm a savage, I'm a I'm a king. Shimmy ya, shimmy ya, shimmy ya. You can tell your nigga, he can meet me outside. You can maybe sit on when I leave him outside. Ain't no one to love like the one I know. I done been down so long, I slow. I done came down so hard, I slow. I done sleep and have a holler. Good morning guys. So today is Monday and it's a very chill day. I had so much fun yesterday and I wanted to show you guys um, the stuff that I got from the marathon store because after I got back from the marathon I kind of had like a little bit of a headache so I just chilled for a little bit and got, ordered some pizza and I was just like let me call it a night but today is Monday and I have a lot of work things that I got to do but let me show you guys what I got from the marathon store. So I got, let me get it. I'm not gonna lie, I cashed out at the marathon store. So I got two things and I was in the store trying to make a decision as you guys saw in the last clip. So let me show you guys what I ended up getting. Hold on, let me sit down and show you guys. So, I was in between getting the Crenshaw hoodie and the All Money In hoodie. And the Crenshaw hoodie I really wanted because it came with the box. And it was like a really special blue box and it had all of Nipsey's pictures in it. And it was like a really nice keepsake, but it didn't have my size. I really wanted a medium because that's what fit me the best. I didn't really want it to fit too big, but they didn't have it. So this is the one that I got. Uh -oh. Not me pulling off the zipper. Let me just put it back. So this is the hoodie that I got. And the rooftop experience was so fun. So this is the All Money In black on black hoodie. It has the All Money In logo right here. It also has the marathon right there on the bottom. And then of course on the back, it has the marathon clothing so i really love this hoodie i could see me wearing this hoodie all the time i love wearing black so this is definitely going to be something i wear often so i really love this hoodie and i'll tell you guys about my overall experience too at the rooftop it felt like so exclusive it felt so 
just it felt so personal it was my private shopping experience so i had scheduled a time on the website and i basically had the whole store to myself to shop and um the guy was super helpful his name is kaleem and he was so sweet and he just gave me all the time in the world to try things on this is the second set i got which is the new set from nipsey's line the people's champ it's a purple purple lavender set and it's so cute i got this in a medium and i guess i can show you guys the detailing on it because this is something i could see myself wearing all the time nipsey actually wore this in an interview this like similar set so this is what it looks like it's so freaking cute so it has like lining down like straight down the middle and then right here it has the really cute tmc the marathon continues logo on there on the side and then it has these cute little zippers on the back so i love it i love the color and then this is the sweatshirt it has the same thing let me pop this open so you guys can see it so this is the sweatshirt and i just love it it's so cozy and i can see me wearing this all the time or you know you could dress it up or dress it down just like whatever you want to do but i love it and it's really nice quality and i love how it has like the white stitching on the side and i just feel like this one looks so cute on me i might bust it out during the trip i might not i don't know but i really 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 love the um set that i got and i'm glad that i got a set because i love wearing matching sets and honestly the sets that they had at the store they were like there was like a short set and then there was a, a matching shirt to go with it but it kind of looked a little like boyish i kind of wanted something more girly and matchy so the people's champ set was definitely the perfect one for me and i'm really glad that i got it because i think i would have regretted it and the detail it's like there's so much cute detailing on it the zippers on it the band on it i can tell it's gonna make me look super snatched so yeah i didn't even get to show you guys what i got so i wanted to take some time to show you guys like a quick little unboxing of what i did get from the store but today is going to be one of those days where i am in work mode yesterday was my day of like going around the city and having a little bit of fun i went to eat and shop but today is a lot of work so let me show you guys what i'm up to so i got my planner and I got my cards for the show. I just got these made um, before I came on the trip. So I'm going to be putting my questions on here for tomorrow's show. My friend Chris, who's also gonna be helping me with content, comes in tonight, so you guys will get to meet Chris. But basically my day is gonna be pretty boring. I'm gonna be doing like a lot of work emails and just prep for the show. So I'll show you guys my process on how I organize things for my interview and how I prepare. Um, I did order some coffee from Dunkin', so I am prepared to be in work mode. I'm gonna be in the bed all day working. I got my laptop out, I got my planner, I got my notes. So I can take you guys through like my process of organizing content for the day for tomorrow because there's so much content that I want to get done. We're going to go to the Hollywood sign and take content. We're going to go to the Walk of Fame and do content. But most importantly, it's going to be my interview with Meta World Peace. So you guys will meet him. So that's going to be really fun. And I can't wait to, got, uh, to show you guys like the studio. I haven't been, but I did talk to them um, before I got here and they were really cool and really, really nice. And the studio is amazing. Like there's like this huge LED screen um, and there's just a lot of things that I don't have to worry about. Everything is pretty much taken care of. All I have to do is just have my questions ready, look good, have fun and just have a good time and shoot the first episode in a real podcast studio. Like like you guys it's a dream come true for me i really don't think you guys understand how hard i've really worked 
to get here and I just want you guys to see this process and what it's truly like I'm financing this whole trip on my own and it really does feel good to invest in myself and bet on myself because I've really worked hard for this time to happen and I just can't wait to keep growing and getting more opportunities and just taking my media career to the next level so this is like the first huge step and I'm a hustler so I'm gonna get it done regardless so I have a great feeling about everything but today I really do have to get to work but I did want to pull out the camera to show you guys the stuff that I got from the marathon store but yeah I'm gonna take you guys through my process on basically all the work that I'm doing today and then you guys will meet Chris a little bit later but I'm gonna clean up because I just kind of made a mess now but after I do that I'm gonna show you guys what it's actually like to prepare for a podcast, organize everything for the interview and how I break down step by step what I'm gonna do and all the content that I'm gonna batch create and just my work day today. So if you're interested in seeing all that, just keep on watching. When I get started with work, the first thing I need is my notebook. And this notebook I use for a lot of research. So I mean, it's already like halfway full. But this is where a lot of my research goes, a lot of the topics that I want to talk about um, for my interviews, I write down in here. So I have like a whole sheet for Meta where I've done like a dump of ideas, topics, things I want to get into. And today what I'm going to do is basically organize all of those thoughts and put them on the note cards. I'm not really big on writing out actual questions when I do interviews. I really like to do topics and sometimes it could be like a lead question that goes underneath that topic that I'll put. So it'll just be like a whole bunch of topics. Um, the only thing I probably might write out is the introduction, but I'm really great at memorizing things. So I'll just have it as like points to just kind of glance at. But this is just kind of for me to refer to just for notes, just to segue into the next topic that I plan on talking about. The interview is an hour long. So for me, an hour goes by so fast. So it really doesn't feel like a long time at all. But this is just great just for me to keep the conversation organized. But sometimes it's so organic and the chemistry sometimes depending on who you're talking to it just naturally flows into the next topic that you already thought about but it's great for aesthetics and it's also great for me to just keep track of things if they do go off track i can always just refer back to my notes so that's one of the major things i'm going to get done today which is the biggest thing and just practicing and rehearsing the things and how the flow of it that i wanted to go but it's always organic to me when it comes to interviews but yeah, so this is super important, just organizing all of these things and basically transferring this over to this. And I use my planner a lot to organize just the to-dos and the things that I have to get done. So what I'm about to do now is just write down all of the things that I have to get done today. So whether that be for the podcast, which is that, that actual task I have to do, um, the actual content pieces. So I'm going to be doing a lot of short form videos um, If you're not following me on Instagram go do that because a lot of that content goes on there. So um, I like to break things down by like reels um, Teasers stuff. I want to do Recaps things like that. I want to use probably my notebook But my planner is just to write down all the things I want to get done just so I can like cross them out and just check them off the list as I get done because if I don't, I will sit here for hours just like doing one thing and when I have like 10 other things to do. So this process for me is just easier just to organize everything and write every single thing I have to get done down so that I can just cross it off and then be done. So <laughs> that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to be working basically the whole day until I get everything done. Um, Chris is supposed to get in at 8 o'clock. So... I might take a break, but I do want to spend some time um, just doing everything. I don't know if I'm going to get lunch because I'm really not that hungry. So I might just wait, but I do try to take breaks because I notice that the more I work, 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 and don't give my, my brain some time to just say, okay, I've done enough. Um, let me just give myself an hour, two hours just to decompress and then get back into it. It kind of does make me feel better because I feel like if I just work for hours and hours and hours and don't give myself a break to just do nothing for a little bit, I just get easily stressed out. So 
I'm gonna get into this and I'll just you guys can watch me do it and then <laughs> once I get into the actual breakdown I'll probably come on camera and show you guys once it's actually finished y'all it is now 5 37 i have been working 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 all day um the housekeeping ladies they came in and made the bed and i was just like they cleaned the room and i'm like oh my god i don't want to mess it up now so i have been working at the desk and i've gotten a lot of things done so let me show you guys what i have done so far so I posted on my Instagram. I posted a reel. I've been really consistent with posting reels and it's helped me grow so, so much. If you guys want me to do a video on that, I definitely will because earlier in like, it was September, I had about 7,000 followers and now I'm at 16.1K. So I've been consistent on the reels and I pretty much found my formula. So it's going well on there. So I made sure to post on there today got that marked off i made a teaser post for meta for that interview to kind of tease my audience so they can kind of guess to see who i'm interviewing i made that post i posted on another account that i consult for so i got that done sent some emails and now basically all that's left to do is actually the show cards i did this last um, I started so I'm gonna put like my intro on here and start writing down the notes I wanted to do this last because I knew this was going to take the most time I did a lot of the easier tasks first, but pretty much it's done Sometimes I can overthink a little bit just because I am a bit of a perfectionist, but honestly It's pretty much done. So this is all my research that I've done on meta and there's a lot of ways and directions that I want to go with the conversation but I do want it to flow so that's what I'm going to work on now um my friend Chris is not here yet because it is 5 40 so he's supposed to get in at eight o'clock tonight but I think I'm gonna still wait on dinner and just grind this out and get this done um just so I can practice 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 and go over everything i kind of want to lock this down and get it done by seven so i'm going to put myself on like a study type of timer so that i can just stay focused and be locked in because sometimes i'm just like checking on my posts seeing how they're doing trying to engage and stay active in work at the same time but right now this is the priority so that's what i'm going to get done so i'm going to walk you guys through the process so what i like to do is always start out in order i can't do the topics first the ending last i like to structure the show exactly how i know it's going to flow when i actually have the conversation so the first thing that i'm going to do is actually do the introduction card so i have introduction written um here you can freaking focus okay so I have introduction written on the top. So that's where I'm going to start. So I love to do a powerful introduction. Um, and I want to welcome everybody back to the show. And I have a specific liner that I'm going to do each episode. But I really want to work on giving Meta a powerful introduction. So I did more research on all the things that he's done. Because I feel like the most important thing that sets the tone for an interview is the introduction i feel like when you have a weak introduction it doesn't really start it off right and i feel like the other person just isn't as enthusiastic about the conversation as you are if you give them a weak intro like 
Hey, today we're gonna be interviewing Meta World Peace. Hey Meta, how are you doing? You know, it just doesn't really hit, but if you say, and today we're gonna be speaking with philanthropist, trailblazer, NBA champion, uh, you know, whatever else you wanna add, Meta World Peace, then it kind of sets the tone on the right foot. So right now I'm trying to find ways to add my wit into the introduction, which is like my humor, my charisma. It's very detail oriented and that's the type of stuff I think a lot of people don't think about when they're having conversations. So I'm gonna play off of, and you guys will see it when I do the interview, but there's actually a song that Babyface Ray did called Ron Artest. So I thought it would be really cool to say live in the flesh, Ron Artest, like, and then segue that into the conversation because I think it would make him laugh because I always, my goal is to always make my guests feel super, super comfortable with me and just have a good time because that's what I'm about is being informative, having fun, but then also you know, establishing that chemistry and that bond with my guests so that they can feel comfortable with me and just open up a little bit more and feel at ease at the conversation. So I think that is genius. I think that's a great idea. So I'm gonna go with that. Um, so I'm gonna write down, before I transfer everything, before I transfer everything on the note cards, I'm actually gonna write it down on the notebook first because I'm super picky about things, crossing things off, scribbling, I hate it. I like things to be clean, printed exactly how I'm gonna say it um, because I just hate that and I honestly don't have a pencil. And with the way that these cards are, I made them this way specifically just so I could write on them. So that's why I told them to not do it black all the way because I wanted to be able to write with a pen um, just because I just didn't have time to print them and that was just gonna be like a lot of time. So yeah, so that's how I'm gonna do it. Uh, let's go over this other process with the topics because I want you guys to gain some insight on how to structure an interview if you're interested in that. So like I said, a powerful introduction is really what I wanna go for with some humor. And there's a lot of places I wanna go with the conversation. Meta is a very complex person and I look at him as someone who was the first to do something that people really weren't talking about. He had a very tough upbringing and I feel that a lot of young people our age can either relate to that and see the lessons on how he really was counted out and he became a champion and now the work that he's doing now as a father, as a husband, as a businessman is very inspiring and I feel like he's done so many things. Like he's done Dancing with the Stars, he's done Big Brother, Celebrity Big Brother, he's done The Mass Singer, he's played in the NBA for 18 years, he has a business, he went back to school, he got his degree. So he's a very well-rounded individual and I feel like a lot of the things he's done a lot of people couldn't even do in their entire lifetime. So that's kind of where I wanna go. I wanna talk to him about his spiritual journey, so that's a, a section that I wanna talk about. Um, I wanna talk to him about who he is now, because this is the thing. I, I also like to do a lot of research and get deeper into the mind of a person, and a trick on doing this is actually looking at their Twitter, because if they're really active on Twitter, I notice that a lot of people say their inner thoughts on Twitter and what they're thinking at the moment, so I'm really big on looking at the person at where they are now and not necessarily always reminiscing on the past because I'm a very purpose-driven interviewer. So a lot of the conversation I look at is how can young people in Gen Z, in the Gen Z space, which is who my podcast is truly for, how can they grow with their personal development and how can they reach a level of success and what can they learn from my guests that they haven't even heard before to apply to their life. So that's the lane that I'm taking. Um, I also wanna ask him about his music career. It was a short music career, but I feel like there's different lanes that we can go with that, especially in today's music. Um, 
we'll talk about a little bit of basketball of course uh, Kobe Bryant is someone who he was really close to um on the court and off the court so I definitely want to learn a bit more of that relationship his upbringing um and certain instances and certain conversations that I definitely want to tap into like luck and what hit how he defines success and his evolution and the things he's working on now and especially with his strong stance on mental health and I know he studied Buddhism for a while so I want to definitely tap into that because I feel like a lot of young people our age are going through those transitions like he was 19 playing in the NBA um, so I definitely want to kind of go back in his mind and see where he is where he was then what he's learned now and what we can gain from the conversation so it's a lot <laughs> but you know that's the work and i love the work and i'm super excited to organize the conversation and i've interviewed meta before so the way that this came about actually and this is the power of relationships so when i was an at&t rising future maker i got an opportunity to interview him and i was like yes 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 so um i actually interviewed him virtually which i was sad about because sometimes i feel like virtual is cool but like i'm really more energetic and just happier in person but i still get the same vibes virtually but still i just really wanted to interview him in person but it was just not working out so i did the interview and we connected really well it was a really fun interview that i did with him and he actually connected with me on instagram so i have been building this relationship with him and just you know just connecting with him and now we're here so that's the thing i really want to stress to you guys is you just never know where things will go where it will take you but as long as you're being your true authentic self and you're being yourself and you're being you you never know who you could meet how you can connect with them and how you can work with them in the future or just taking that moment of opportunity that you do have and just being present in the moment and i feel like he saw that in me and i'm very grateful for the opportunity to be able to interview him and um hopefully interview him again in the future or just work with him more so yeah the power of relationships is so amazing and that was the whole point of that program was to spark something and hopefully down the line it will lead to something else and that ended up actually happening for me so i'm really excited about it but i'm gonna stop talking and i'm gonna get this together and then i'll come back probably by the time i get finished i can show you guys what my cards look like and how i formatted everything and do a breakdown of each topic that i'm actually going to go for with the interview and then you guys will meet chris so i'm going to get to work because this is a lot been a few hours but it felt like days only been days but it felt like months we gone for a year only go like once life moves fast when you do what you want like this i'm doing what i want hey guys today is the day i didn't film me getting ready because i just wanted it to go smoothly with the hair i did like a swoop with you know the hoops and just a pretty beat let me show you guys my fit it's super cute so i'm wearing this black top um this set is from fashion nova and the pants kind of flare out at the bottom and then i'm just wearing these kind of short uh vacation type of heels and then for my jewelry i'm just wearing this bangle and a little necklace and then of course you guys see the little stud and the gold hoops so right now it is 10 36 and i'm dressed my bag is packed so i'm ready to go i'm gonna go over my cards just because um i just want to practice them in the mirror and just go over everything just to make sure that i'm good i'm really excited about the interview so we're gonna be leaving 30 minutes um you know before the shoot starts just so that we can get to the studio on time um and just see everything get situated and i'm just praying that everybody gets there on time and that we just have 
a seamless shoot and everything works out great. So I'm going to practice my cards. So these are the cards I have for the show. Um, I have like a ton of cards, but I literally only used three, but it's nice for the aesthetic. So I'm gonna go over my show cards. Um, I'm good on everything else. The only thing I kind of get nervous on is the introduction, which you would think that's the easiest part, but the intro and the outro for me, sometimes I struggle with. So I'm gonna practice that and then just go over my topics that I wanna talk about with Meta today and I'll be good to go. So you guys met Chris yesterday, sort of, kind of, but you guys will meet him again today. We're going to be uh, going there together and getting ready to shoot the concert. I'm a little nervous. I'm not going to lie. And I think the nerves are good just because I feel like if I wasn't nervous, I would be scared as to why I wasn't nervous. But I'm just trying to breathe and just calm my nerves a little bit because I know I got this and I know it's gonna work out great. It's just, you know, like the jitters that you have before you do anything really big or anything really meaningful. So that's how I'm feeling right now, but it'll go away. I'm just trying to relax. I feel like the number one thing I'm trying to do is just relax, go over my cards. Everything has gone so smoothly as far as timing. LA time, it just feels like it goes by so slow to me just because I'm in uh, central time all the time. So I just feel like my day goes by so fast, but here it's just easy going and slow. So I think I'm gonna be fine. I just need to go over my notes. So I'm gonna do that. And I will see you guys when we get in the Uber to go to the studio. <laughs> I'm so excited. Here's a day of my life in LA to shoot my podcast for the first time in studio. Guys, I am a West Coast girl at heart, so I had to pull up in style because I'm in Hollywood, so you know I had to do it big time. I brought my photographer, Chris, to do BTS and get all the content, and then we pulled up to the studio, and I just felt on cloud nine because I started this podcast, you guys, from my bedroom, so to be able to have the studio in person in LA in Hollywood just walking in I almost wanted to cry because I'm just really chasing my dreams and I hope it inspires you guys to do the same so I went outside met my guest and my guest is a V Meta World Peace also known as Ron Artes NBA champ greatest defender in NBA history and we started the episode it was such a vibe. We had so much fun. And then after the show, we decided to do like a teaser for you guys. So the first take, I was just so jittery and excited. But the second take, I literally just messed up my lines. But it was no big deal because we did it again. Meta was ready. It's such a good, cute little skit. And I can't wait for you guys to see it. I'm going to be dropping it tomorrow. But the episode actually comes out this Sunday. So go follow Setup for Success on YouTube and anywhere you get your podcast. <laughs> Was like, right? Probably wasn't expecting another championships coming on with the new runs that came in with Man of the Game. Well, all right. Game seven. Game seven. I know that that freaked me out. Guys, I'm the worst vlogger of all time. And I'm gonna say it. <laughs> so we're on the walk of fame. Guys, I literally went to go to the Tupac and the Nipsey. That's all I cared about. And I forgot to whip out the camera to show you guys the freaking stars. But it's fine. Because at least we'll pass by Dorothy Dandridge. Wait, the vlog didn't even like officially meet you for real. Oh, okay. Okay, so guys, Chris is here. We wrapped. Talk to the people. Talk to the people. Oh, it was a Canon G7X. <laughs> wow. Let me see. All right. How I do this? Okay. Put the light out. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. So look. <laughs> don't hate because you don't know how to work the camera. Look. Hey, my name is Chris Anderson. Follow me on IG at I Chris Anderson. It's gonna be probably somewhere at the bottom of the screen or yeah. in the description. Um, but yeah, we are here in um, Hollywood. You know. Sorry doing her big one, you know. I'm just grateful to be a part of her journey. Um and yeah, like more to come. But yeah, she definitely Wendy! No, I'm actually genuinely happy. Alright, so Wendy. I guess she wanted to see Wendy Williams. I didn't want yeah, Wendy. So she Period. No, remember I told you I wanted to see Wendy. Well she wanted to see Wendy, so I she forgot about Tupac and everybody else but <laughs> You got Wendy. I got Wendy though. But yeah, if you don't know about Sorrow, you're gonna find out. So tap in. Tap in. 
Aw, that just made me happy.